Texas Rangers. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the Texas Rangers. If you're looking for the baseball team, you're on the wrong side of YouTube. We're talking about the law enforcement agency here. Officially known as the Texas Ranger Division, they fall under the state of Texas's Department of Public Safety. Did you know they have a special operations group? We'll get to that later in the video. We're going to go over who they are, what they do, their training, requirements, and much more. If you want to learn more about the Texas Rangers, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. The Texas Rangers were stood up in 1835 and have a rich history behind them. They have been a part in many of the most important events of Texas history. They've also been highlighted in Hollywood in movies such as Lone Ranger and Walker, Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris. Needless to say, whether you're from Texas or not, you've probably heard about the Texas Rangers. So, what do Texas Rangers do? As the primary criminal investigative branch of the Texas Department of Public Safety, they conduct criminal and special investigations, apprehend wanted felons, suppress major disturbances, protect life and property, and render assistance to local law enforcement officials in suppressing crime and violence. They also have their hand in border security, intelligence, public corruption, crisis negotiation, EOD, SWAT, and deal with investigations of all sorts. As you can see, they can do a lot. But what you probably didn't know is that as of January 2020, the Texas Ranger Division has an authorized strength of 166 Rangers for the entire state. Just 166. Think of that for a second. For how highly capable and versatile the Rangers are, there are less than 200 of them. They're dispersed into six different companies, A through F, in the regions that are depicted on screen. That's some pretty cool stuff. So we mentioned to you that the Texas Rangers have a special operations group. Let's dive into that. Did you know General Discharge has a YouTube membership? We have three different levels of perks, each with some pretty cool stuff. You can join with the link in the description or by the join button next to the subscribe button and on our homepage. What do you gotta lose? Join today. Now back to the video. Its special operations group comprises of six programs designed to effectively deal with the threats posed by criminal organizations, domestic and international terrorists, and the threats posed to the border region by drug trafficking organizations. It leverages the Texas Rangers assets and resources to resolve critical incidents through a task force initiative under the incident command structure. So we said they have six programs under the SOG. Let's go over them. There's the SWAT team, bomb squad, ranger reconnaissance team, special response teams, crisis negotiation teams, and the border security operations center. The Texas Ranger SWAT team, headquartered in Austin, is highly trained, whose primary mission is responding to critical incidents of a high-risk nature, such as hostage situations, barricaded subjects, active shooter incidents, and high-risk warrant service. The bomb squad is integrated with and a component of the SWAT team. It provides primary response to crisis situations involving explosive devices and IEDs, as well as communicated threats involving hazardous devices. Bomb technicians undergo rigorous training courses involving a multitude of hazardous devices. The bomb squad is accredited by the FBI under nationally recognized guidelines for bomb squads. This next one is pretty cool. The Ranger Reconnaissance Team is a highly trained tactical team who carry out missions predominantly along the Texas-Mexico border region. The team is designed to conduct both overt and extended covert operations in remote areas where conventional law enforcement cannot operate. Its focus is to gather intelligence, conduct interdiction, and disruption of criminal activity usually associated with drug cartels. Okay, on to the Special Response Teams, or SRT for short. If you're an avid General Discharge viewer, you're probably used to seeing this acronym. SRTs operate on an as-needed basis and are located within each of the DPS regions. SRT comprises a cross-section of officers from Texas Highway Patrol, Criminal Investigations Division, and the Texas Rangers. So it's not just all Texas Rangers here. SRT members are trained to conduct high-risk warrant service and provide initial response to critical incidents involving barricaded subjects, hostage situations, and active shooter incidents within their respective DPS regions. Moving on to the Crisis Negotiation Teams. 
They are specialized teams who are trained to facilitate the professional resolution of critical incidents involving emotionally disturbed individuals, hostage situations, and or barricaded subjects. CNT members, like their SRT counterparts, are made up of a cross-section of officers from Texas Highway Patrol, Criminal Investigations Division, and the Texas Rangers, who respond to incidents within the respective regions. CNT members deploy as a team and are tasked with the evaluation and resolution of the critical incident, collection of necessary intelligence, and relaying incident information to the Special Operations Commander. And last but not least, Border Security Operations Center. The Border Security Operations Center is headquartered in Austin, Texas, and serves as the focal point for the six Joint Operations and Intelligence Centers located along the Texas-Mexico border. Responsibilities include analyzing intelligence and collecting border security information, while collaborating with state, local, and federal law enforcement partners to conduct intelligence-directed border enforcement operations. Okay, so we just went over with you the Special Operations Group within the Texas Rangers Division. At this point in the video, you're probably asking yourself how one can even become a Texas Ranger. Don't worry, we got you. We're about to go over the training and requirements for both of them. If you've made it this far in the video, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Okay, so in order to become a Texas Ranger, you have to be a Texas State Trooper first. That means you need to satisfy the requirements to become a state trooper, as well as completing the training for it first. For the requirements side of the house, we will leave a link in the description for you as there's a lot of fine details to it. As far as training goes, that process is 23 weeks in length and takes place in Austin, Texas. The curriculum is physically and mentally intense and includes courses on the use of force, the operation of tactical vehicles, report writing and communication skills, and first aid for first responders. Once you become a Texas State Trooper, there's still more. Each applicant must be in excellent physical condition, have an outstanding record of at least eight years experience with a bona fide law enforcement agency, and be in the position of Trooper 2. Oh, and to you MPs and MAs out there, they do not recognize military police as years of service for their requirement. Applicants will be given a thorough background check and will be administered an examination. Selected applicants with the highest scoring grades will appear before an oral interview board before final selection. Fun fact, little recruiting has ever been necessary and it is not unusual for many officers to apply for only a handful of openings. Training will be tailored towards what specific role you'll have in the Texas Rangers. And we'll leave you with this before we move on to the next part of the video. The average age of a Texas Ranger right now is about 44 years old. So you just learned a decent bit about the Texas Rangers. But remember how we said they have a rich history? Well, if you want to learn more about their past, we have some recommended readings for you. There is Texas Rangers, A Century of Frontier Defense by Walter Prescott Webb, Lone Star Justice and Lone Star Lawman by Robert M. Utley, and The Texas Rangers and Time of the Rangers by Mike Cox. We have links for those in the description below if you're interested. And before you go, if you're into learning more about other civilian and law enforcement entities, we've done plenty of videos on them. On screen are all the videos we've done thus far. There will be a playlist in the description for them. Well, that is the down and dirty of the Texas Rangers division. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a General Discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button. Or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.